In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Toy Nami Futurama Series 4 Santa Robot Wave. This is Calculon. Calculon is about six inches. Okay, okay. If you want to count the antennas, he's closer to about six and a quarter of an inch tall. His Santa... Ro Don't worry, that's going to happen a lot. His Santa robot body parts are two boots. Two boots. One and two. They plug in just by the holes on the undersides of his torso. It's one of the strangest connection points that I've seen for a Build-A-Figure, is you're just simply lining up and just placing a peg inside of a hole. And that's what he looks like, at least he can stand, which is what I can't say, unfortunately, for Calculon. We still need arms, we still need head, we still need a head, I should say, and uh, we'll get the figure put together. Let's have a look at Calculon. Boy, oh boy, not a bad figure. Doesn't stand the greatest, though. You can see, I don't know if you can see, that this one foot is completely flat. This one foot, on the other hand, is either further up or it's on this weird, wanky sort of, uh, I don't know, angle or so. It just doesn't allow the figure to stand properly. All the standing that Calculon is doing right now is on one foot and somewhat of a heel of the other foot. I don't know why his his feet are off the way that they are. I don't know, if, maybe you can see it, how one foot is a little further down than the other. But it definitely makes things very problematic for getting this guy to stand. Other than that, I like the look of the figure. He's limited on posability, I'll give it that. But overall, I do like the look of the figure. He's got the color choice options, similar to what he would have had in the cartoon. He's the very exact carbon copy to how he appears in the cartoon. I really like the fact that his, his eyes and his teeth almost seem to have a pulsating glow to them. That is really just excellent paint job. Still has the squared pupils, similar to Bender, and the slotted teeth, also similar to Bender. But that's basically where the, the comparisons can stop. Um, doing a comparison, by the way, <laughs> I just finished saying no more comparisons. Doing a comparison, there is King Bender, and there's Calculon. Calculon's a little bit taller. Yeah, you can still see he's off to the side. A little bit taller though than Bender, as it should be. I feel like he could be even taller still, but from the standpoint of a figure, that's that's how big they wanted to make Calculon. Um, coloring definitely is where this guy excels in. He looks clean for the most part, a combination of this kind of caramel brownish yellow, and then he's also got the yellowing, almost more of a custard yellow. Look at me trying to describe it with foods. A custard yellow for the shoulders, the clamped hands, the boots, and of course the head. He's got little antennas on the side, which much like Bender, you got to be very careful. Don't be doing this. Don't drop them either, as these could potentially break. Doesn't come with any sort of accessories whatsoever. Bender technically didn't either, although you could say cape and crown. But uh, unfortunately, Calculon here comes with squat. Peggles on the undersides of, a, of his feet, I would say this would be probably a good instance in which you would want to use a display stand. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but man, oh man, he's standing pretty poor. Posability, let's go through that together. His posability is such. His head rotates all the way around, like that. His arms rotate out, and they rotate all the way around. They're just basically pegs, peg, peg, and then this is also a peg, so his hands rotate and his waist rotates. Now yeah, go on, go on, there's more, there's more. No, 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 that's it, that's all he can do. He has no, sadly, no foot articulation, no knee articulation. I guess it's due to the fact that he is very spindly. He's basically stands like an ironing board. There's no, I guess there's no real decision on their end, well, let's give him posability because you're not gonna make him any sort of jive moving robot, although that would be pretty entertaining. Yeah, he is a little on the limited posability side. He does look pretty show accurate, but unfortunately getting the stand is the biggest problem I have with this figure. Calculon, oh so wanted to love you so much, sir.
do. I'll see you next time.